Hello again, this is Josh from Wine Tastings Guide and uh, doing another tasting from wines I'm pulling from my cellar uh, the last few days. Uh, so this one, uh, just a quick backstory, this, this is a, a red Bordeaux that has a bit of special meaning for me because when I, way back when, when I first started getting into wine, uh, mostly what I had experienced early on were domestic California wines from where uh, I lived and I had visited wine country there, and so mostly I had had younger California wines. And it wasn't until maybe a year or two into it that I had a really truly special wine from Europe that I, I had a special occasion and I splurged and went out to a nice dinner, and I got a bottle of 1985 Lynch Bage, which at the time, this was in 96-ish, so it was about 10 or 11 year old uh, uh, since the vintage, and at that time, I thought that was very old, and I, I uh, took it to this nice dinner, had them decant it, and I was just blown away. When I put my nose in the glass, I just thought, this is unlike anything else I've, I've ever tried. I mean, I was used to things that were very fruit-forward, California ripe fruit, complexity to the fruit, but when I put my nose in the bottle of 85 Lynch Vage, it just was so perfumed with different things. In addition to fruit, it had like this mineral, people often describe this pencil shavings or pencil lead kind of smell that gives it kind of a, a, a more intense note. Uh, and really aromatic things like the classic description is always uh, like a cedar cigar box kind of smell because there's like tobacco-y smells, kind of woodsy cedar kind of smell. And it blew me away, the complexity and other flavors other than fruit flavors these other flavors that you wouldn't expect necessarily to come from grapes uh, that I was blown away by. Now, Bordeaux haven't been the thing that I've really gravitated to the most since then. I've, I've moved to, to a lot of other areas, but I, I, I still have a special place in my heart for Lynch Bodge. And this is a 1996, which was another excellent vintage. Um, now, in 2016, this is about a 20-year-old wine, so it's about almost twice the age of that 85 that I had at the time. Uh, one thing I'm curious about, I haven't had a lot of recent vintage Lynch Bage uh, in the last, uh, it, again, I don't drink as much Bordeaux as some other things, uh, and, but I, I know from my little bit of experience that in the late 80s uh, or early 90s, their style did seem to shift a little bit. They went from a very traditional style to, I think they started to get on the more modern bandwagon, trying a little more dark extraction. So I'm curious to see this one. It's got some age on it, so it's probably mellowed out a little bit, but whether or not it it still has that beautiful aromatic complexity that I remember from the 85 and, and some other vintages that I've had after that. So I've already popped the cork on this. I'm going to pour myself a hefty glass. This is a Riedel Sommelier series uh, Bordeaux glass. And let's see. Mmm. Okay, definitely has some of the characteristics that I, I associate with Lynch Bage and that it's got this woodsy kind of cedary kind of thing going on along with a dark, dark like black and fruit kind of blackberry or cassis kind of fruit to it. There is a little bit more of something that I, the older vintages I don't remember getting which I think is more from some toasted oak. Like there's still some, it's almost a creosote or kind of charred kind of aroma in there uh, that's kind of, it's not off-putting, it's not too much, but it's its there and it's its nice, it's a it's very nice oak, but I think it's from the you know slightly charred oak barrels that it was aged in. If I had to guess, I mean it could be that that's not the case, but... Mm. Yeah, that's that's a meaty, serious wine. It's it's drinking very nicely now. The 96s took a while to come around in my experience, and this one's definitely very drinkable. There's not the tannins are pretty kind of lush and, and sweet, ripe tannins. They're they're not hard or astringent, and there's not too much of them. There there's grip there, but it's not like in your face tannins like you'll often have in a very young Bordeaux. So it's it's mellowed out a bit. It's it's smooth around the edges. It's got a lot of very concentrated dark fruit, which I think is is different from the older vintages I've had of Lynch Bage, which had a little more elegance. This is 
a little bit more muscular. Uh, it's, it's not angular though. I think it still has, you know, people talk about the ideal red wine being an iron fist in the velvet glove. It's more on that end of things where it's got that firm structure and, and, and dense fruit. Uh, but still, again, it's smoother on the edges. The tannins are very polished. And it seems like it's at a nice place now. It can certainly go a lot longer. If you have any of these and, and you wanted to wait another, another 10, 20, 30 years, it probably in a cold cellar and it'd do just fine. Uh, again, I, I have to be honest, I think it's not as good as my experience. Maybe that's just my romantic memory of, of that first bottle, but the 85 back then at that time, it was kind of a, at a magical place. This one does seem a bit more modern, a little more, I guess, a little more safe. Got, they went for the concentration and and everything's in the right place, but it maybe doesn't have some of that old-timey kind of funky complexity to it that, that the 85 had and, and other older older models of uh, Bordeaux I've had. But it's still, that I'm, I'm just, I think I'm being overcritical of most people if they taste this wine, they'd They'd love it. I think it's it's an excellent wine. And I think it's I just opened this a few minutes ago. I think it needs a little time probably even to open up and become a little bit more approachable and, and bring out some other nuances. So I'm gonna kind of sip on this over the next few hours or more and, and see how it comes along. Uh, but overall, very nice. Again, I don't think there's any rush to open these. If you want to, it's delicious and it'd probably be good with any number of different foods and, you know, good steak or whatever. But, um, but this, this could certainly age for a lot longer. Thank you. Till next time.